Hello everyone. So let's start solving today's problem. And it's Fibonacci number. And in this problem, we have been given a positive integer n and we have to find nth positive nth Fibonacci number. And the answer we return could be very large. So we have to return answer modulo this thing in order to avoid integer overflow. So if you don't know what is a Fibonacci number, let me show you a Fibonacci series first. So as you can see, this is a so-called Fibonacci series and it, it goes on and on and on. So it is nothing but for any number and the for a nth Fibonacci number, the nth Fibonacci number could be found out by simply adding the two preceding numbers. For example, if we start off with zero, the it the output is zero because there is no number preceding zero, right? Usually our Fibonacci number Fibonacci series start from one. And as you can see from one, the preceding two zeros are zero and one. So uh so the output is one. Now for two. The preceding two sum is 0 plus 1, which is 1. Now, for this two, the preceding two sum is 1 plus 1, this two. And similarly, for this three, the sum of 1 and 2 gives you the result 3. Similarly, for 5 and 8 as well. So I hope you understood what is a Fibonacci series. And all you have to do is, is to find out the nth Fibonacci number. So we can come up with a formula that nth Fibonacci number could be the sum of n minus 1th Fibonacci number plus n minus 2th Fibonacci number. So I hope you get the intuition that we are going to use recursion to in order to solve this problem. And what we'll be doing is in order to calculate a certain n nth Fibonacci number, we are going to call the recursion to get n minus 1th and n minus 2th Fibonacci number. Since the number n, the Fibonacci number n, the result n exists for the sum of two preceding numbers, right? So that's the recurrence relation. And what would, let's discuss the base case now. So the base case would be if our n is 0, then we simply return 0. And in case our n is 1, then we return 1. Otherwise, we can use our recurrence relation. All right, so let's code this solution. So I have already code, coded the brute force recursion code. So if our n is 0 or our n is 1, we simply return n. OK, otherwise we return nth Fibonacci number of n minus 1 and n minus 2. Okay. And if you submit this code, you will surely get a TLE as you can see here. Now let's optimize it. So in order to optimize it, we have simply used memoization in which I have took an output array of size n plus 1. Now why n plus 1? Because in order to find the nth Fibonacci number, we are going from 0 to n, right? So that's why n plus 1. And initially, all the values are initialized with minus 1. And if our the base case remains the same, and if my nth index of output array is not minus 1, means the answer exists in that index. So I simply return that element with performing the mod operation, which is nothing but this thing, okay? Otherwise, I simply compute the answer. And while computing, I make sure that before returning, I simply save it in my output array. Okay, so as you can see, it is working fine. All right, see you in the next one.